In this video, I want to show you the World Inequality Database or WID in short. The WID provides access to free data focused on income and wealth inequality. It covers a wide range of countries and time series tend to start in 1820, assuming the data is available. It's quite easy to select the time series, countries and years for your data analysis. So you just navigate to the website, the link is down in the description. We go to data tables, then we can select our indicators. Let me just focus here on income inequality. So I look at the top 10% share. So this focuses on the percentage of total income that goes to the top 10% of earners. Then I can select countries or regions. So you can select your countries here. Then we can select the years. And you see it's starting in theory from 1820 and it goes up to the current period. So once you select it, um, you can just now retrieve your data. In terms of obtaining the data, it's quite often a good idea to select only one variable, then download the data and then go back for more because sometimes the structure is easier to manage. But this is up to you. You can always, of course, modify this um, once you downloaded several variables in one go. The tables can be rearranged um, and you can select various data formats. So I have done this in a, in a previous attempt and I downloaded data for France, China, Germany, the UK and Russia. This should be an interesting selection for further analysis. In most cases you will see that you won't get data for the earlier periods. But for a few larger countries, indeed, you get data for 1820. And of course, there are various issues when it comes to data quality. We talk about this in a minute. So here we can change the structure. So there are various formats available. So I just stick to this one here. Um, I can change the format. So depending on how you want to proceed, whether it's Python, for instance, or Start or anything else, you can change the formats. Um, I just do now a standard Excel format and then I can download my data. So here you go, I already have done that. So once downloaded, of course, you can then start working with the data in any package you would like to use or um, if you want to use Python, of course, you can also do that. So I just show you here the data. In the early years, you only have data for selected points in time, as you would expect. And once you go closer to the current period, the data quality improves quite a bit. Now, data, of course, is the main issue, the main challenge in this area of research. It certainly affects the study of income and, more importantly, wealth inequality. The well-known um, economist Professor Piketty has worked on these issues for a very long time, collecting data and developing theoretical models. Please leave a comment if you want me to explore his work in more detail. I think there's a lot to cover. It's not quite my research area, I would argue, but I'm interested in certain aspects of um, wealth accumulation. There are a lot of measurement problems, of course. In general, measuring wealth is a lot harder than income. The latter is better captured due to taxation and employment data. And also you have big issues when it comes to exactly understanding what is defined as wealth. So for instance, if you have access to some public goods, how can you quantify the value added. Um, in particular, also pensions are not straightforward to quantify. The other thing to have in mind is the data um, is pre-tax. So we know, of course, because of taxation 
and because of transfers the after tax um, distribution can look very different. So that's another element one needs to consider. So of course if you want to dig deeper into taxation and transfers um, then you, you are basically restricted to um, a very you know, recent period um, because the data is just not necessarily available. So after we looked at the data structure we can just now um, go into starter and because it's a small data set um, I just will open the data editor in starter and copy paste the data from the Excel file. Of course you can use alternative methods such as the in-sheet command if you're working with CSV data for instance. I cover various methods in my Udemy course on getting started with starter. The link is down below in the description. So I go into data, data editor, edit and then I just copy paste my data. So once that's done, I save the data set as a DTA data set in starter. So just copy paste that. It will now ask me um, how to treat the first row and of course these are variable names. And so that looks all perfectly fine. The dot in starter indicates a missing value. Um, it's all now understood as a numeric. So there are no issues here. So it looks really good. So I just close that now. I get back in here, do maybe a quick summarize command just to check whether the data is all in order. It looks perfectly fine. Good, um, let's move into the do file. So I save the data set. Um, I then um, start my do file. I change directory. So I move into the place into the working directory where I stored my DTA file and I just um, open the file um, and use clear just to erase any data in memory. So I'm just now running this so that should again open my data set which it does. So here we are. It all looks now ready for further analysis. It is useful uh, to plot the line charts first. So of course we can combine all these different countries using the two-way command. Before we do that it would be useful to t-set your data so starter knows that we are working with time series data. So here we go. So I t-set the data. So I say t-set year. So now starter knows we have a time dimension, the time dimension is year. Then I do a two-way chart um, and I use line charts for the different countries. I add some patterns here just to make it easier to distinguish the different line charts um, and let me just now run this. And so that's actually quite interesting. Again this is very very common when you look at um, income inequality. With wealth inequality you see something similar. Again the data is, is more of an issue here. But usually it starts um, at a certain quite high level and then you see a reduction in, in inequality. Of course now that's not the perfect measure. This looks at the top 10% of households but certainly you can argue that um, over time inequality actually went down and then you see a sharp increase in inequality in particular in the case of certain countries. Yeah? So of course countries such as Russia they stick out. Yeah? Of course that's driven by the official data in, in, in the um, Soviet period. Um, and again there's a lot to say about data in this particular case and also one can of course argue is actually income a sensible measure um, in a communist country because it doesn't tell you an awful lot about having command over resources. You don't need to actually have income. You need power. So there is, is a, a lot to discuss here, a lot to unpack. I'm more than happy to dive um, deeper into this. Just leave a comment if you have any um, ideas that are maybe interesting um, to explore. Now what you should notice here is that um, Starter applies linear interpolation in line charts. 
Now this means that the missing values which we saw in the data set are filled with linear predictions based on the data available. So that's the default setting in starter. So it looks all quite smooth, but actually we don't have data for all these years. In fact, uh, we can obtain these interpreted values using the ipolate command. And I can show you this in a minute. So here I use ipolate, so this is for interpolation. I focus here on the French case. Um, I focus on year because that's basically what we have. We have annual data, that's our time dimension. I generate a new time series, which I just call France underscore P for polation. And then I um, look at both time series and plot them and you will see they are exactly identical. This is because um, the line chart uses linear interpolation as a default. So you see you can't distinguish because it's exactly the same approach. So that's quite interesting and when we move back in here, look at our data. So this is now the interpolated data for France. So that can be useful if you want to then do some further analysis with it. For instance, if you do a, a panel data regression model in this case, which might be useful, and you want to explore inequality maybe as, as a driving factor for some other variable or as a, as a consequence of, of certain other changes. Yeah? So there's a lot to do in, in this particular case. I hope you will have fun with this amazing and most importantly free data source. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I will see you soon.